Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. I am making a delicious sourdough cracker today. Now, I could not just make any sourdough cracker and pick some recipe and copy it. I had to make it my own, which is what I do with pretty much every recipe. I made the crackers the first time and actually followed the recipe and thought they were bland and boring. And I ended up putting some cheese on top and broiling it to make them a little tasty and I thought hey these remind me of my favorite cracker Dr. Crackers crackers. If you don't know what those are they're this big cracker about this size and they about break your teeth when you bite into them they're, but they're delicious and they're addictive too and they're kind of expensive. So this is my version of Dr. Crackers crackers and I make them with sourdough and they're gonna be tasty. So let's talk ingredients. I have some sharp cheddar cheese here, salt. I have two cups of, oh, I'm making a double recipe here. I have two cups of sourdough starter, unfed. This is my discard. And then I have two cups of flour. I am using white whole wheat, which is a white berry, wheat berry. And I am also using a dark rye. That is gonna be new to this. Last time I did not use dark rye. Dark rye is really hard to find in your grocery store right now. So to make these crackers, if you want to use dark rye, you can click on the link below in my description to purchase it on Amazon. And then I have my toasted papitas here, which are super good. The reason why I'm making this cracker is because it's fall, so I thought, well, I might as well join the fall bandwagon and make something with pumpkin, and nothing was really getting into my groove so I decided to look up some recipes and you know there's those pumpkin soups but um, the problem with them is I don't like eating baby food they're all pureed so I am going to make a pumpkin stew which will have chunks in it so that you can chew it which is what I like to do and that these crackers are gonna go with that so we are gonna get this into a mixer and mix it all up so we are putting our two cups flour in my mixing bowl and my sourdough starter. That was two cups of sourdough starter. Our teaspoon of salt. You can mix this by hand, but I have issues with my elbows, so I cannot mix this by hand. In fact, right now I have cake elbow is what I call it because I stirred too many cakes with my hands or my arms and now I have to wear a brace, so there you go. And then, I don't think I mentioned this, I'm also gonna put in some sage. Let's see, how much are we gonna put in? Um, that much, looks like a teaspoon. We're gonna put that in. And then we're gonna mix this with the mixer. We are going to wrap this up and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. We are gonna start rolling this out. We are going to roll directly on the parchment that is directly on the pan because we are going to be rolling it out to 1 16th inch thick. That's kind of hard for me to say. And we want to not have any cracks or anything. We wanna bake it as one whole piece and then we'll break it when it is finished. All right, we are going to put some flour down. Oops, this is a little tricky to work with. And then I just like to kind of press it down a little bit first before I use the rolling pin. And with the rolling pin, <clears throat> you're going to want to hold the paper with one hand and use the other hand on the rolling pin. If you're sticking a little bit, like I am, just a tad on top. So to help with the sticking. We wanna roll this to 1 16th inch. Now we're just gonna put a dab of oil. And we wanna get that all over. And then you're gonna take a fork and just go on over and dot it all. This will make it so the bubbles don't happen. And then we're gonna put our papitas on top. I toasted these to bring out all their flavor. Yummy! I did not salt them. And instead of putting salt, if you just want it like this with no cheese, I would salt this a little bit. But since I have cheese, that's pretty salty. 
And this is gonna go so great with my pumpkin stew I'm gonna make. Oh man. And then just press it down. You're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. Okay, this one, let's see. Um, still looks a little loose. Yeah, see that's way too floppy. Okay, they are done. This is number one. Um, the edges are a little browner, no big deal. Uh, and you see there's still some a little flexibility to it. Once it cools, this is gonna crisp right up and then we'll break it. So we'll take a break for now, let these cool, and then we get to break them up and try them. Our cracker has the time to cool, and this is what it looks like. Is that not super fun? There's the back. There's the front. Mine is darker, not because it's burnt, but because I used half dark rye flour. So let's see if this has some crunch like a cracker. Let's break it. Now when I break it, some of my pepitas are gonna come off and that's okay. Oh, uh-oh, I am not fully cracked. Is that bad? No. I got a little in the center that isn't, now let me tell you my, my problem here. You know, I had to cook this much longer than 20 minutes. I accidentally turned off my oven. So that was probably part of my problem. Um, so the center still has a little softness, that's okay. But you see that crack in this part. Um, yeah, I'm like, why isn't this baking? Well, that's what happens when your oven isn't on. Okay, it's okay though. That center is gonna be just as delicious with the soup. Mmm. Very thin. See that? See how thin that is? Perfect. Oh, that's awesome. So what I'm gonna do with those centers that aren't super crisp, I'm gonna break up my crackers and do all the edges. And then those that aren't really crisp, I'm gonna turn the oven on to 250, put these centers in, and then just turn the oven off and see what happens. So moral of the story is, make sure your oven is on <laughs> and you shouldn't have that happen thank you so much for watching kathy cooks for you please watch my pumpkin stew recipe and these crackers are going to be so tasty with it i already know the soup's going to be good because i'm going to make it and i make great soup thank you again please subscribe below give me a thumbs up and i would love to hear from you with a comment